Aaron Boone just said he had never seen somebody hit a letter high curveball out the way you did in your first at bat. How did you manage to get that ball out? <sighs> um, well, he's supplying the power. I mean, I know it's a curveball, but um, uh, it was up. So to just get the barrel there and put some backspin on it. Um, yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure what that was going to do, uh, but, uh, but I know uh, it was scooting with some backspin. Another big swing in that fourth inning. Just how dialed in do you feel at the plate right now? Um, yeah, that was a good swing. Um, uh, I, uh, I swung through one earlier in that, in that at bat, so it was good to get to that one and um, you know, put, it, put us in a decent spot. Next one to James Wagner. Hey, Jeff Harlow, going back to that second home run, did, just seeing you the replays on, on camera, did, did you seem surprised that you hit it that far? And it was listed at 458. Does that seem short? Uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was that, but I don't. Th that doesn't matter either. Um, uh, I, I was, I, uh, I was just um, gl glad to put the barrel on it. I didn't really care how far it was going. I know, it was, I knew it was out. I just, I put a good swing on it, and um, that, that's all I was worried about during the time. You, you kind of, kind of black out sometimes on those. Next one to Ken Davidoff. John Carlo, obviously, uh, you're, you're focused on the team goals and it was, a, it was a loss tonight, but I don't know if you heard the, the just the history you're making. I mean, now it's you, Reggie, and Lou Gehrig are the three Yankees with uh, home runs in consecutive, four consecutive postseason games. You and Juan Gonzalez are the only two guys with five homers in the first four games of the postseason. Are you able to appreciate that stuff just for a minute? Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, but that's that stuff uh, you look at after um, after the year's done. Uh, but it's definitely cool. Uh, the didn't know didn't know any of that, so that's cool. But uh, not a thought right now. Thank you, mm -hmm. Marley Rivera. You have the next question. Hi, Jim Carlo. Um, what does it mean to you guys to have Masahiro Tanaka on the mound tomorrow, knowing that without any rest, I mean, how deep that other pitching staff is, um, how necessary it is to win tomorrow? Yeah, um, uh, it's going to be a fight. Uh, all these games, all these games are as expected. Um, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to Masa being on on the mound and um, uh, putting us in a good spot to to get to go up in the series. And we'll take a final one from Bruce Beck. John Carlo, how do you expect your offense to respond tomorrow? A lot of strikeouts for the ball club tonight. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, we'll, we'll tighten it up. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. I, I don't. Uh, I don't see a problem there.